Hey. Hey, you. You stressing over finals? Knock it off! Oh, you, you freaking out about a paper you're writing? Cut that out! Oh, God. You better stop that. Because we haven't hung out in a while, all right? We're friends, okay? And we haven't hung out, so... You have no choice but to stop working and hang out with me, all right? Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal or not? Sorry, very aggressive. I just woke up. <laughs> this is the, the rage that I'm filled with every morning. I don't know why I'm recording right now. I have class in 20 minutes. Hey, believe me, I'm stressing out too. I got a lot going on. I get it. I get that you're stressed out. It's gonna be fine. It's all gonna work out, okay? In your favor. You're gonna be okay. You'll survive. New Tay Tay just dropped. Hey, Tay Tay's out. New Tay Tay in town. Thoughts on Tay Tay? <laughs> I love the album. Uh, I think it's sick. Uh, the pen game. The pen game, guys. The the lyrics are. It's it's filled. I'm not actually. I'm not like a huge Tay Tay fan, but I know by the album coming out, I'm gonna I'm gonna name the video after a song or a lyric or something. Um, I mean, come on, it's funny. Have you listened to her songs? Have you listened to to this album? It's kind of hilarious. I mean, even Taylor Swift is down bad. All right, so I feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> I know right now is real crunch time, so um, believe me, I'm I'm trying to, you know, I actually feel busy around this time. Um, it's kind of nuts because I'm actually filling up my schedule with conflicts. Um, like usually I say I'm busy, but busy for me still means I have like four hours in my day where I'm just sitting around doing nothing. That's busy for me. Um, and now I don't have that. <laughs> now my days are pretty full because um, it's either just constant work or, um, you know, meeting up with friends and, you know, saying goodbye. There's, there's a few people graduating this year. <sighs> so it's natural to be freak out a little bit, okay? I'll let, I'll let you do that. But I will say, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. College living, right? I'm posting these and you guys are watching them and I, I really appreciate them. I really appreciate you for uh, taking taking a few moments and, and watching these videos. You guys are, are here with me, sort of going through college together, even if you're not in college. Um, I know a lot of people that I know watch these videos and it puts, puts uh, a little bit of pressure on me, not gonna lie, to like have some content ready or like be funny or, or whatever, I don't know. Just like make a good video because I wanna make people proud. Um, but also, it's also good to just hang out, you know, and chill, Ch just chill. Just be chilling, big chilling. Oh God. Um, okay, that's, uh, all right. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? Cool, we cool? All right, we cool. Time travel in three, two, one. Went to this uh, class today, uh, like I always do on Tuesdays or Thursdays. It's called Product Design Principles. And it's currently my favorite class because of how much I don't belong there, you know? Because I'm a film major, right? I make films, I, I make things, I act in things, and I'm like creative. A lot of the time, I like to think so. It's called Product Design Principles, and it's in the speedy major. Now, now, if you don't know what that means, neither do I. I should have gotten the hint that this class wasn't really for me. When we started making lamps, I kid you not, one of the first projects that we had was to disassemble a lamp, like a real lamp, and then <laughs> find an object just in our room, okay, that we could just also take apart and reassemble into a lamp. So being the film major that I am, I chose a tripod. Uh, I actually have it. Now just to give you an idea of how much of an outlier that I am. What is this? What is this thing? I don't know. I, I, I had no idea what I was doing every step of the way, right? I had to call my dad. He's a bit of a, of a workshop guy. Our, our garage is quite fitted out for making things um, and working on stuff. So he's he's that kind of that kind of person, you know? Like he would love this class. But that sort of gene, whatever that gene is, that speedy gene, wasn't passed down to me. So we're on hard foam. We're making hard foam models. And we had to be trained to use the bandsaw. 
and you know where this is going. Um, just so lost. I, I think I, I did pretty well on the canvas test. Like we have to go online and we take a little quiz to like test our knowledge after looking at an article about a bandsaw, whatever. I don't know what this, I don't know what that is. I don't know what a bandsaw is. This guy who runs the lab has to tell me how to do like tell, press start. Like, okay, this is where you press start. Okay. Totally. You got to make sure you adjust the saw to the right height so that the foam doesn't get caught. And you know, just so the saw is like in the right position Then you just press start and you just right. horrifying. I don't use equipment if you couldn't tell, right? Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to like, you know, because there's three different like band saws that are like all going at once. Um, I can't tell you how many times I wanted to turn to the person next to me and just be like, can you just, can you just tell me like step one? Like I have my phone block, but like how do I, because there's like dimensions, you like pencil it out. There's you like line it out. You trace your product shape into the block. But like, where do I start with the, <laughs> and it's just so loud in there. <laughs> Excuse me. I, yeah, I just need help with my, I'm so sorry. Can you cut the foam block first? Or do you sand it just to make sure that it's smooth enough? I'm s okay. All right, no problem. <laughs> I do like the class. It is cool. And there's some cool people in there that I've gotten to know. Um, but honestly, once this class is over, I'll probably never see them again. If you can imagine classic product design person, construction guy, construction guy, but in college, that's the first person that pops into your head. That's what they look like. I kid you not. <laughs> They're all the same. And I can't really say anything because all the film majors look the same too. Um, I'll say that. Um, and they all act the same too. They're all super awkward and don't know how to talk to people. I get it. That's me included. That includes me. I get it. I know I've talked about my space class before, but whoo, we got, we got a class in there, buddy. Let me tell you. Imagine you're in class, you know, just going about the lesson just as normal. And then all of a sudden, Someone in the back, the guy in the back, raises his hand and just asks a question that's just not related. And it's purely because, not because they're confused, but because they want to show off the knowledge that they have, how big of a brain they got. I get it, right? There's, there's, there have been plenty of opportunities for me to flex on people. Uh, my knowledge of like cameras and film and editing or whatever. Just that, just, this is the, this is the worst kind of student. Don't, don't be this kind of student. <laughs> this is, this is exactly who you don't want to be. So, uh, yes, hi. Um, yeah, so, uh, whatever you're talking about, that's great. Um, so what if a planet flew out of, flew around flew around the black hole would that would that mean would that technically mean that it's double red shifted professor's like double red shift i don't i don't know what that means yeah yeah but okay yeah yeah i get it but like would technically wouldn't it technically be a double red shift because just because of the way that the light would cur cuz i know about black holes i i know what a black hole is and i know what it does to to light and how it bends you know, according to you. Dude, what are you doing? What are you talking about? No one knows what you're talking about. Why are you flexing your knowledge on me? You don't even know what or what? Why? And I, I, I feel bad for like saying it like that, but like, you gotta believe me. <laughs> it's painful to sit in a class and listen to someone purposefully try and flex their knowledge, but it just, it just doesn't work because the professor is always like, Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course, he'll, he'll be nice and be like, oh, that is not exactly correct. Love the professor. He's awesome. Um, but the student will just keep going. I'm so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but like, just listen to the lecture. And if you have questions about the lecture, ask. Don't bring up some other concept. <laughs> Clearly, this has been building up inside of me. Um, I've been waiting to talk about this. Um, and it's also so crazy because it's the end of the semester, right? Like this could have come up at any point, but it's just now like crashing down on me. And I'm now like, you can't get away. You can't get away. There's always going to be some, someone like that in a class. I think that's it for tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm getting busy. So this, this is my only time to, to record, talk to you guys. And hopefully I can edit this and get it up in time, but, uh, it's going to be back. Um, I hope you liked that Tom Cruise video <laughs> that I posted. 
Uh, that was a fun one to make. Um, just my chance to go out and do something stupid and funny and creative. Um, but I also like coming back here and talking to you guys, striking up some good old talk, good old conversation. Um, this was kind of all over the place, but hope you still enjoyed it. Um, have a great night. Uh, I'll see you next week for another banger. Sorry, let me just, I gotta, yeah, guys, I gotta finish my phone block here. Have a good night. Woo!